Hello, this is Danby Longnose, and welcome back to my Let's Play of the HD remake of the game Shadow of the Colossus. If you watched my last video, then you will remember that I was riding pretty aimlessly around the landscape. If you didn't watch my last video, then go bloody watch it. <laughs> There'll be a link to a playlist in the description where you can see all of the Shadow of the Colossus videos, including the one before and after this one. And a little quick recap, basically my lady has died, I want to bring her soul back to life and to do that I need to go and kill uh, a bunch of colossi. And that's about it. Then I got on my horse, I had a little ride around and that leads us to here. And whatever this thing is. What is this thing? Oh, can I, is that a... What? What's he saying? Is that... Surely I can do something on this, can't I? What is that? Or is that just something to jump on? So nothing here. There's got to be something here. Whoa, that camera's going all over the place. Um, is this is this just a nothing thing? Ah, here we go. Oh, okay, maybe I've got to shine the light on it. Oh, no. Oh, this is a save point. What is that? Okay, well, I guess I'll save it. I remember in Ico, the save points were always sofas. To, to save the game, you'd just have a sit down on a sofa and it would save for you. I don't know, maybe is this like a door or something? Or maybe it's like a fold out bed, you know, the ones that you like, you pull out of the wall. Maybe it's one of them. <laughs> Layer to the west. Okay, so that's, that's I guess that's where I'm going then. Okay, well, at least I know what the save points look like now. All right, where's my horsey? Oh, I look hurt. Why like, oh no. I look like I'm kind of like holding my hip or something. Yeah. Come on, let's go. Yeah. I feel really, I feel really mean for kicking my horse, but I don't know. I guess that is the the standard way to make a horse move. And oh god, it's like we're going to some sort of cave. Yeah. <laughs> Here's some ominous sound effects. Whoa! Look yeah. at him go. He, he's not slowing down. Anything, he's speeding up, <laughs> riding straight into a wall. <laughs> Why the hell not? I can't, I can't see anything. God, I feel like I'm drunk. Yeah. Oh, come on. Come on, camera. Point point in the direction yeah. I'm going. Yeah. I mean, it keeps trying to get like really dramatic angles, but yeah. ignoring the yeah. fact that I might want to see where yeah. I'm going. Yeah. Oh dear. Yeah. Are we about yeah. to encounter our first colossi? Okay, well, there seems to be some obvious light here. Maybe I should do my my swordy lighty thing here. Ambrosius, halt, halt, Ambrosius, halt, good boy. Okay, well, this seems to be like the only obvious light source. Okay, so let's just, just shine my light at stuff and just see if anything happens. Um, okay, looks like I've got to fire it in this direction somewhere. Every now and then my controller like vibrates, I don't know. Oh. Around there somewhere? Doesn't seem to be anything obvious to shine at over there. It seems to be like just a bit of a wall. What was that thing down there? Let's go. Let's go get a bit closer. I think it always by default faces me in that direction. Oh no, maybe not. Okay, but it only shines over here. Maybe is that just telling me where I've got to go? All right, let's let's go investigate. Go on, get on. Get on. <laughs> How close do I have to be for him to get on? on the bloody horse <laughs> there we go I could have walked there by the time it took me to get on that horse <laughs> is this just a rock it is I don't want to come all the way here for, for no reason there's got to be something to do that's, that's where I came from I think let's, let's circle the, the outside of this area and see if there's anything interesting to interact with at all like, I do like the camera when it does that thing where it sort of pulls out to the side and looks a bit dramatic. But it's only good when you're in a large open area and it doesn't matter. When you're in any kind of, like, enclosed space, then you kind of just want the camera to look where you where you need to go. Oh, sorry, sorry, Ambrosius. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Is this where I came from? I refuse to believe that there's. I'm not supposed to do anything in this area. This can't just be like a crossroad. 
Right, okay, I'll look down there in a sec, but first we're gonna carry on looking around this this area in here. I didn't realise it was gonna Whoa! <laughs> Come on, Ambrosius. Stop glitching in the wall. I didn't realize how like open-ended this game was. I thought there'd be like a, a little more direction, but I kind of found that with Ico as well. Even though that was, I mean, not really an open-world game. It was much more enclosed compared to this game. But once again, it didn't give you much direction. It kind of plonked you in the world and sort of said, "Go, like explore, like do your thing." And yeah, I do definitely enjoy that kind of game, but. Even though every time you discover something when you're in that sort of format of just exploring, it's more rewarding. There is always a lot of times like this in which you are just kind of wandering around a little bit aimlessly. And hopefully I'll keep that down to a minimum in this. Okay, I don't know. This might just simply be like a sort of crossroads with lots of different paths coming out of it. But just having that light there just seemed a little bit too obvious for me having to use my light sword. But... Oh, well, let's go down this way and hope this isn't the way I came. Actually, I can look at my map, can't I? Oh, does that show the path that I've gone? Oh, I can hardly see it. I need to zoom in. So I, I've come in... Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm going out the way I came in. <laughs> That's kind of useful, seeing that little bit of a trail, even though it is done in pale orange for some reason and really small, so it's nearly impossible to see. Go on, Ambrosius. Big drop. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> that was the weirdest jump animation I've ever seen. It looked like it was gonna belly flip into yeah. like belly flip, belly flop yeah. into like a swimming pool or something. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I've just got a greater respect for Ambrosius yeah. the horse now. Yeah. After seeing it do that, <laughs> no fear, this horse. It will blindly charge into anything yeah. I tell it to. <laughs> like surely in real life, if you just were riding a horse and you just told it to ride into a wall, it would stop. Like it's not a yeah. car. It's not. A steering wheel. It's an animal that should have some amount of common sense. Okay, right. Let's just try and get through here. Can the horse fit through here? Come on. Just about. Oh, it looks like we're going deeper into the cave this way. And this is where the, the camera can become quite bothersome. I think it's better if you don't try and manage it. I think my problem in the past was I was trying to redirect it and stuff. I think if you leave it to do its own thing, it will... It will be yeah. all right eventually. Here, yeah, right. I think that's another yeah. save point. Yeah. I don't think there's any point in saving, seeing as I've done bugger all. Okay, I'm going down here to the water. It looks like. Let's let's not charge off the edge of that cliff. Whoa, horsey, where are you going? Those things on the floor, by the way, they're lizards. <laughs> I realised after the last video, it's not a a downed bird. There's just lizards yeah. crawling around. You can't do anything with them. I tried killing it, obviously. That's my. My first response to seeing something in a video game. Just just try and kill it. Oh look, there's a thing. Let's see if I can kill it. <laughs> Hopefully none of these characteristics would transfer over to real life. Oh, this doesn't seem safe. The horse kind of yeah. does its own thing. I'm not even really pressing anything at the moment. Yeah. It kind of just yeah. goes. Yeah. yeah, look, I'm not even turning. I don't, I don't have to press any buttons. Yeah. Oh, maybe that's my problem. Is it like yeah. on rails and I've been trying to fight yeah. it? <laughs> Like, I, I haven't pressed a turn in, like, that, that whole section. I'm, I'm only holding the control with one hand. Okay, let's just not press anything and just, just see where the horse goes. That's quite cool. It'd be good if it told me that and I didn't have to struggle for so long. Look at it go. It's doing far better than I would have ever done controlling it. <laughs> I'm still worried that I've, I missed something in that big open room, but... I had quite a few crossroads, so I'm assuming I'm going to be heading back there at some point later on anyway. So maybe if you just don't press yeah. anything and don't say to turn, the horse will just like do what it needs to do and just just take you to the stuff. Yeah. Is it going to turn? Yeah. Ah, maybe not. Is that is, is that path? Whoa, my God! What's he <laughs> mental, mental horse. Um, okay, maybe I was wrong. Maybe it does. Does it know where it's going? No, no, it does not. It just cleared straight into the wall. Yeah. Yeah. For some reason, I can't see this horse surviving this entire game with me controlling it. Get, get away! <laughs> this is this is so crazy. <laughs> the horse just doesn't slow down for anything. It will just keep yeah. on charging until I say stop. Problem is, I don't say stop very often. Yeah. Okay, well, it looks like I found a little... 
a nice little secluded beach. Maybe do some sunbathing or something. All right, where am I? Where am I in my world? Let me get some bearings. Okay, I've just crossed over here, apparently. Is there is there no indication of where the cloth eye is? Because using this map to try and find them doesn't seem very beneficial, seeing as they're not marked on it. <laughs> Not particularly useful. Right, let's just let's try not turning and just see where the horse takes us. Into the wall. Okay, let's not try that again. Maybe it's just on sort of the, those tricky sections when you're going down stuff. Can it swim? It cannot swim. Right, sorry, I've got I've got you all wet now, horse. I just want to find my first colossi. I'm excited and looking forward to it. Yeah. Similar is how massive this world is. You can see that there are like a few glitchy moments, and they, they could have probably got rid of them, although it might have been a lot of effort, like yeah. textures loading in a bit slowly and a few things sort of slightly out of place, but it doesn't really detract from the experience. It, it, I don't know, it just kind of reminds you that yeah. you're playing a video game every now and then, which isn't particularly good for the immersion. Yeah. I'm here checking in every little cranny. I don't want to just yeah. miss something. I bet there's people that have like played this game so much that like they know their way around this world like perfectly. Yeah. It is nice that when you play a game, yeah. you've played it for a while and you can just sort of you know your way around as if it's kind of like your your second home. And things are getting pretty windy. Um What? Yeah. Does this lead to a dead end? Yeah. Oh, surely not. Surely there's got to be something around here. This really reminds me of, um... I know I keep going on about it, but the end of Ico. I don't know if you saw it, but the very end of Ico, you kind of land on, like, a beach and you wander around for a bit. I don't know, maybe this is the same universe and this is the place that they escaped to in Ico. That'd be a kind of interesting, cool little Easter egg, but I'm just... Failing to believe that this whole beach here is for no reason and there's there's nowhere else to get to here. Surely there's got to be something. I mean, I've enjoyed it. It was a nice day at the beach. I've got a bit of a suntan. My horse had some fun paddling in the water, but it's not going to help me bring my girlfriend back to life, is it? <laughs> I can't remember what that girl was called, actually. They did say something to do with M, I believe. It's a very unelegant horse. It's got <laughs> <laughs> it kind of looks a bit, a bit drunk, or like a little bit too excited, you know. And it's kind of, it's trying to run too fast, but running too quick for itself, and it just sort of stumbles. <laughs> it's not a, it's not an elegant beast. Okay, well let's head back up from the beach here because it doesn't seem like I'm making any good progress here. But I'm, I'm learning my surroundings. I'm, I'm getting my bearings, and I'm sort of. Like for every place you explore and don't find something, it's good because you've kind of cross that area out you know it's, it's just part of the process so i'm not going to count that as a fail i'm going to count that as a an anti-success i'm going to call that what the hell am i on about right okay let's yeah. let's let's look somewhere else then shall yeah. we yeah. i think they need like a few more distinctive landmarks like i remember when i played through journey they always had like that mountain yeah. in the distance and Throughout the entire game, unless you're in like a, an interior space, you always had that goal of heading into that direction. Yeah. And this game, yeah. I've kind of gone in and I'm just like, I don't know, it's just fields upon fields and it's hard yeah. to know where to go and also like hard to remember where you've been. There's no, I don't know, there's, there's no real yeah. objective. Obviously, I know I've got to kill the Colossi, but it's kind of hard to know where to start. And can you make the jump? Go on, jump, jump, boy, jump! Whoa! Extreme! Extreme horse riding! Whoa! <laughs> I just love that jump animation. It just looks... So he looks like he kind of goes too high, but not far enough forward. And he looks like he's going to just, like, splat onto the ground. Okay, right, where, where the hell am I? Where have I gone? Okay, looks like I'm going, like, on a complete circle. Okay, looks like things where I've been, Sharp. I think because I've saved at that point, that place is saved on the map now, but I don't know where to go. I mean, that that's where I started, like, in the middle of the screen there. So I guess that's not where I've got to go to. 
Let's go to that ravine looking thing in front of us. It looks a bit like a snake. Let's head in that direction. Yeah. Okay, I think there's another save point here. I might as well save here because it will it will mark it on the map for me. It'll make it easier for yeah. later on. I know there's no real need to save because I haven't really done much progress, but I might as well save while I am here. And look, there's, there seems to be a few things in the distance, so ho hopefully we're we're working in the right direction. How did I save again? There we go. Okay, actually, I think that I might take this as a good opportunity to end the video here. And what I might do is I'm going to carry on playing for a little bit, have a wander around by myself, and then once I find something noteworthy, uh, I'm going to start recording and uh, you can join me there again. Uh, because I don't want to spend too much time just sort of wandering around with my horse and uh, not much particularly exciting happening. So sorry that's kind of what this video was. Uh, but hopefully you enjoyed <laughs> some of my fun extreme jumps I did on my horse and brochures. And there'll be a link in the description to a playlist. And if you click on that playlist, you'll be able to see uh, all videos uh, beyond this one, of course, once they're uploaded. So I want to thank you all for watching and I will see you later.